whack OC on Sonic. Hey, we we live. We living. Let's go. Let's do this. You said this Sonic is whack. What? No, Whoa. Well, oh, fuck you. Alright, <laughs> uh, yo, we living. We alive. Straight here. Sonic after the sequel. Let's fucking go. Everybody started recolor dreams about to come true when that Sonic game come out. Oh god, boy, I'm making the hypest Sonic ever. I'm gonna make a dog. They say they got dogs on there. Oh shit. They don't have bats though. I ain't seen nothing about bats. I don't think they have bunnies. They don't have foxes. They do. They got a bunny. They, got they do bunny, got bunnies. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. They don't have a. Fox. Oh, I know what Hervey making, boy. Hervey love him some rabbits. <laughs> he gonna make Hippity Hop the Hopster. <laughs> Hippity Hop the Hopster. Like Hippity Hop the Hopster, boy. Hippity the Hop. Hippity the Hop Hop. It's kind of late. Maybe next time I got you. It's like Super Nintendo graphics. Is that good or bad? Was this thing was graphics technically better than Super Nintendo? Uh, kind of sorta. Of. It had blast processing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you know that was great. Yeah. Nah, that blast processing was another thing for having slightly better RAM, I guess. Yeah. As far as graphic quality goes, because I mean the games on the Super Nintendo were 16-bit, just like the um. But even though they were 16 bit, they still look just as good as a lot of 32 bit games, though. So that argument never won me over. When people say, like, oh man, Sega was better because of this and that. Can I make it? Shit! Good. Almost had it. Genesis just had a lot of games that looked good, but the SNES just had a better library overall. Yeah. Yeah. But well, Mario games back in the day? Oh god. Mario was god. <laughs> oh god, Mario was god. What am I saying? Mario, essentially, nothing can fuck with, like, Yoshi's Island. That game was Oh, so man, good. that game was... You know Nintendo can't even recreate that? Because the SNES yeah, was just... Was so hard. Well, it's because um, Trihex explained it. He was like, there's something... I forgot the name of it, but there's something in the Super Nintendo where it makes, like, the graphics in the game play have, like, that speed and resolution. And, like, when they try to make another Yoshi's, like, Island and stuff and recreate it, the remastered version is nowhere near as good as Super Nintendo version. Like, it's just... Ah, so that's why every other Yoshi's out of the lackluster. Yeah, nothing compares to Super Nintendo version. Like, they have to make something similar to the yeah, Super Nintendo. Yeah, that one was pretty good. It was the uh, one with, like, the multiple babies. It was, like, you could save Wario and shit and stuff. I think I saw Don play it. I was talking about the literal remake. But, yeah, I had that DS one, too, where you had, like, Donkey Kong and Wario and all them and babies. I had that one, too. That one, was, that one looked gay as hell. <laughs> Not gay as in the game look bad. It looked gay as in like too much damn work. Yeah, it was it was just weird. Like none of that shit really made sense to the lore. Even though I don't know if Mario has a lore, but if there was one, it wouldn't make any damn sense. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Kuma Master. Why'd you say no? What are you saying no to? What I do? Probably saying no to something we said. Yeah, that homeboy just he just straight up said no. Like he ain't having it. No. No, motherfucker. Look, listen, bitches. Is it cuz. Oh, God. Is it cuz you saw me playing it? That shit, what? This game looks good, but its controls are like, no. That shit is horrible. I tried. Okay, so. That game plays so bad. I thought. Man, how Shaq got like 180 frames? I thought that, um. I thought that, um. Like in Gundam, there's a Gundam game, several Gundam games where you, it says like quarter circle forward, but you don't do quarter circle forward. You do down and then press forward and it does the commands. I was like, okay, maybe it's like that in Shaq Fu. Nope. The game just sucks. And the block in that game, you're supposed to hold down and press R and it makes a shield like in Smash Brothers. That's how you block. That shit's still whack though. Because you can't even do the commands. Like it's horrible. It doesn't respond. Like how you... How the game unresponsive on the emulator? I could have seen if it was like the tape, but when you play it on the emulator and the game still doesn't respond, that makes no sense. That means the game's program was just trash. <laughs> like really, Shaq? So back in the day, you let them use this your name in this game and you didn't tell them to check it? Like you just thought it was a good game? Like what? Why are you 
Oh, um, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I actually had Shaq on. I actually had a Shaq on fucking uh my tapes. It was some song he was in. He was rapping and that shit was kind of hot. Did you say the SNES is? Oh, SNES is greater than Sega. Damn. Uh, what about Shazam? Yeah, he didn't care. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I like. <laughs> That's what uh, Master brought up. I forgot about Shazam. Man, Sinbad was still in a genie movie. I don't give a fuck about the damn Mandela effect. I thought something was over here. Hold on now, we got Streets of Rage, we got Shinobi, we got Comic Zone. <laughs> I do. Oh, Vector Man. Ugh. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, did you see that? Oh my god, are you serious? Sir Billion. Did you see what happened just now? I was standing on the platform and I got shot up to the top of the stage. Now I'm stuck. I see. I see. I played uh, Ghosts and Goblins for the first time the other day too. What game? I sat down with, uh, this is new. Uh, not really new, but I have this emulator. Wow, I gotta restart. Arc, and I just loaded the f out of it <clears> before I went out of town. That was horrible. So I just started playing a bunch of random games. But yeah, I, was, I started playing Ghosts and Goblins. I'm like, man, this game's actually kind of. Uh, did you say the seven up game? Stop playing, man. What's up, Doctor Man? Yeah, that was pretty ugly. Homeboy said the, the seven up game. He talked. It was a seven up game on the Sega Genesis, I believe. Well, fucking um, it was like the little dots with the shades on, like pepperonis. Man, get out of here, cool <laughs> <laughs> mess. You know, little red, like little period blobs, shades. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <clears throat> I think my favorite uh, Sega Genesis game besides Sonic was definitely uh, Streets of Rage. That game was delicious. Mine was I, Zone. I, fucking love <clears throat> Zone, dude. I love Comic Zone, but I could never beat it. I probably need to stream that one day and give it another shot. That game is hard. Oh, um, Shining Force was good too. RPG? That was a good game. Rockstar was five. Oh, yeah, we can't forget about Rockstar. Oh, Rockstar. Rocket Knight was five. I never played Rocket Knight. I, okay. Apparently, Knights was off the I chain. Didn't... <laughs> oh, I've never played Knights. Nice. Like, oh my god. Like, uh, I loaded. So I put about 6,000 songs on my phone. <laughs> so I've been randomly shuffling through a bunch of soundtracks. And I hit Knights, and I was actually kind of impressed. I never really listened to all the music. Oh, I guess I need to hear it, because I'm late as fuck. So Knights and, um... Damn, I missed that jump again. Like, what is wrong with me in that jump? I suck. Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star was good. I really didn't realize how many um, games I played. Uh, somebody asked me about putting a list together of my favorite songs from the game. And I'm like, okay, first of all, that's impossible. That's very impossible. Uh, so I literally was like, okay, I'm just going to take 100 games I like and then just download soundtracks for them and then shuffle them through like a month or two. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, I've reheard music I have just completely forgot about. <laughs> you know what's a good soundtrack and uh, Dan I Can't Stand brought it to my attention? Fucking um, Mario Toops 3 on 3. The soundtrack on that is oh very good. <laughs> I slept on that, boy. I was like, you yeah. fucking lying. Then I listened to that shit like the next week. That Mario shit was great. Three on three. That game was good, dude. Like, I didn't play the game. No justice on that Wii Sports Mix crap. They didn't do Mario who's no freaking justice, dude. That game was so good on the 3DS, man. <clears throat> With the touch screen control. Um... Sonic and, <coughs> Sonic and Sochi Olympic Games actually has a pretty good soundtrack. It does, yeah. This game is... Alright, so let me explain to Kumu Master. So you got Sonic 1, 2, and 3, right? There were segments between Sonic 1 and 2 where they just kind of slapped the story in there but didn't really explain how it got there. Same thing between 2 and 3. 
So what the fan did, name his name is Alec uh, Feppert. He made two fan games: Sonic before the sequel, which happens between one and two, and then Sonic after the sequel, which happens between two and three. And basically, the premise of the game tells the story. So before the sequel is how Tails and Sonic met, and how they tried to stop Dr. Robotnik's uh, death egg before it hit the sky. And this is after the sequel, so this happens right after Sonic 2. So once they fall from the death egg, they um trying to get back to Dr. Robotnik to handle him before it actually raises to the sky. But apparently they're like uh before they get to Angel Island. This is all that happens before they get to Angel Island. So it has like a story and all kind of twist to it. It's a very, very good game. Like as you see the graphics look freaking remarkable. Of course they made it in the future, so of course it's gonna beat the Genesis graphics, but they did a very good job. Well he did it. it one guy made this whole game. I think he programmed it and everything out of the uh, Sonic Worlds engine. And he didn't like the sprites and everything. All sexy. And then he got all of the uh, composers and they got like a bunch of different really good composers like Maxi the Man and other names that I can't remember, but they're all fucking good. They're, they're great guys. Graphics are sexy. I haven't listened to Second Stadium yet. First Stadium is cool. I like the game in general. Alright, let me not get stuck in that damn area like last the time. Stadium 1 soundtrack is very nostalgic. It's on a Pokemon Stadium? I missed that. I missed that. Coliseum soundtrack, dude. Oh, Pokemon Stadium Coliseum. Coliseum. Ah, dang, I forgot to put it. Forgot to put XP. I was just gameplay. Never got to talk to you. Wait, actually, which one's the one uh, with the kid with the red hair? HD. Kid with the red hair. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. When I first saw um, XD, I thought that jump was Pokemon. It had that little laughing face. Like when you have the X and the D, that's what I thought it was when I was younger. And I was like, oh, that's XD. I was like, wow. I thought it's, I'm like, why do they got an emo con on here? Shit, I cannot get on here. Fuck. Why was it called XD anyway? What does it stand for? Extra I dumbness? Darkness, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shut up, D. Let me get off this thing before I get glitched up. Fuck. Alright, we living. You look like you want some drum huh? If you want some drum and bass, the first Ape Escape soundtrack. Someone so right someone now. Kingdom Hearts. It. <laughs> oh, Kingdom Hearts had great music. Monkeys or whatever the fuck, that game's music was so good, dude. I don't know why they didn't bring that game over to the Is US. there a Kingdom Hearts fan-made game? I have no idea. There's 2D fan-made games, but not a 3D one. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, there's so there's a couple. Like somebody made some kind of they somebody made like a Kingdom Hearts 2 with the Unreal with the Unreal graphics engine or whatever. They um I forgot, like, somebody was streaming it on Twitch or whatever. It looked pretty good. What'd you say, uh, Kumcaster? You got to, these guys make shit up as long yes, as they go, yeah. like, Zelda. Yeah. <coughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, uh, let's see now. I'll... Oh, I, I was thinking about getting that too. Sound like some Kirby Epic Yarn shit. <laughs> no, not even that. Like, uh, let's see what else is good. Uh, Kirby Epic Yarn should be bad. <laughs> Why? Wow. Three. so simple. Like. Oh my Nani? God. Nani? Epic arc. Cause I was just so used to. I've been spoiled by Nightmare and Dreamland and the and the original Canvas Curse, so I'm used to that hardcore kind of. Kind of. It's like Kirby's weird, cause he he got this little pit little dude. But like the way the way like Nightmare and Dreamland kind of presented it, it was like. It's weird. It felt like a hardcore platformer, with life, but it was like Kirby. The Canvas Curse kind of brought that same thing. Let me see. Nightmare was, Dreamland was the one with Meta Knight on it, right? It was the remake of the first Kirby adventure, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I, I just liked the way that game felt. It was fast and yeah. slippery, and it just felt good. <laughs> fast and, and slippery? It's like you fucking a hoe. <laughs> You guys are awful. That nigga fucking a mermaid, boy. <laughs> Have sex with mermaid. Ooh, she was fast and slippery. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Like Ursula, <laughs> fucking Ursula. Oh, God. 
Man, I brought up Kingdom Hearts 3 to somebody at Best Buy and this dude started crying. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Like, like he he had a good reason to cry. Like, we was talking about like how long the game was taken out and he was like, the spinoffs don't count. They were good, good, but like the main game, like he's like he's had two children, a wife, his brother has died. Like he's they've been waiting for that game forever, man. Like they're taking too long. And then he was like, it's only the beginning of the series. Like it's ridiculous. He was like, how can you have something that passionate come out? Like it's not a soap opera. It's not on CBS. Like what are they waiting on? <laughs> have it come out. <laughs> that game better be 500 hours. <laughs> Apparently, he's been working on so many different projects, and that's been holding him back. Like Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, he hopped out. He hopped out of 15. Oh, we getting excuses? I don't, I don't know about that. Development. I don't yeah. know about no excuses. I heard now he's, help, he's helping with Final Fantasy 7 or whatever the remake. Yeah. Man, fuck that remake. That shouldn't be ass. I want Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> <laughs> that remake may not be ass, but they're gonna ha they're gonna be selling that shit in chapters, man. I don't, I, don't, I ain't down with that. I don't, that I don't is kind of ugly. Cause at first I was thinking, okay, maybe they're gonna do like three discs, like have it like that. But no, they're gonna split them discs up. They're gonna be like, I think they said nine chapters per disc or something from what I read. It's gonna be a lot of chapters, and it's gonna be like. Thirty dollars. From what they made it sound, it's gonna be a hundred and fifty dollar game altogether. Like seven's gonna come out, and we're gonna play it, and we're gonna be like, it's gonna be like the first ten hours of the story gameplay, and then we're gonna wait like another six months for the next one. They're gonna do it like they did um, Sonic Four. We got Sonic Four episode okay, one and two. Let me add the content to the story. Oh, nobody cares. Yeah, too. These guys just make this sure. Is not, this is not a freaking idea we should have went through with. Don't get mad. Kingdom Hearts is ass. How dare you? You fucking romance of the three kingdoms loving motherfucker. Give me five shit so I can ban that nigga. Unless, <laughs> unless they dismiss Donald and Goofy. Final Fantasy sucks. God damn. Boy, you don't come out disrespect Square Enix and my Are we gonna block? Are we blocking Master? <laughs> uh, Kumu Master, one of my homies, man. I can't ban him just yet. Oh damn, that was quick to get this fight. That's what I'm saying. You don't come here disrespecting Square Enix like the fuck? Well, fuck Square Enix. <laughs> you don't mean that. I kind of do, man. I just want Kingdom Hearts. That's all. <laughs> I want Kingdom Hearts, and I want them to inspire Nintendo to make another Super Mario RPG. Then we'll be, then we'll be, we'll be Gucci. You already had another Mario RPG. No, Super Mario RPG, not platform paper bullshit <laughs> paper mario one and two was great paper mario one and two was awesome i don't know what kind of cocaine nintendo well they explained they explained they was like okay the mario and luigi saga is the rpg elements and the paper mario is the puzzle elements that's why we do it like that and we like that no that was i don't want to hear that shit yeah, see, that's what I thought. That was my logic. Cause I, I see what they're doing now. It's like now Mario RP, Mario Luigi took over that as Retro Spain. They just shit it all over Paper Mario. But Paper Mario was an OG, nigga. Like, <laughs> Paper Mario was OG. Top Paper Mario in a thousand year door. That was like the best RPG game I ever played. Thousand year door was so good, dude. Oh my goodness. Akuma Master, you're not even online, dude. I don't see you. Tell me, how do you get on Curse? <laughs> Square Soft was better. <laughs> oh, everybody say that because of Secret of Mana and stuff and Chrono Trigger back in the day. We ain't never gonna get that again. That's never. Because the SNES was the RP RPG machine. <laughs> like the Vita? <laughs> like literally the RPG oh, machine. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like the Vita? Dude, that's, that's the only. Th Dude, that. that 80% of the people I know that bought a Vita got it for RPG. That's all I play it on for. I got like a. <laughs> what else do you What else do you do on there? Two reasons to get a Vita. It's because you want to mod it, or because you got some a bunch of obscure RPGs you want to play. Yep. Or you want all that pervy otaku stuff. That's why I should have got it, cause I want that pervy otaku stuff. <laughs> pervy otaku. Oh, this sugar splash zone is pretty hot. When Sonic touches the sugar, his eyes like get like kind of small, and he he just fucking takes off. Fucking cocaine in that sugar boy. 
Dude, Jamal, you know Paper Mario Sticker Star was so good. I don't know why you tripping. Well, get out of here. Get get so far out of here that you can't even see yourself anymore. Bro, I didn't even finish that game. I bought it and I just couldn't do it. Boy, you lost so your I mind. Well. I'm pretty I sure like, you traded I can't it. can't play this anymore. I heard the Paper Mario, the one that came off a of console. I forgot the name of it. Not Super Paper Mario, but you talking about the Slash one? Yeah, I heard that jump was. I looked at it. It I looks was... fun, but at the same time, it looks trashy. Like the concept of it is funny, but the game just looks bad. Like it looks Super like something Paper I fall asleep on. Games. Yeah. Super Paper Mario put me to sleep. <laughs> I thought it was funny. They had that. There's a meme of uh, Mario's about to jump off the fucking building. And it was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna jump. And fucking go uh, uh, the stylish. female Goomba talking about do a stylish. <laughs> God, Pip Mario, the second one with Thousand Year Door was great. I would stream that, but god yeah. damn, that game is fucking long. Yeah, I kinda like, I kinda like Super Paper Mario, though. That game long as dicks. <laughs> That game was great, dude. I don't care what you say. That game better than Talking about Paper Mario 2? The Thousand Year Door? No, The World Ends with You? Oh, The World Ends with You was great. You can't even. We can't even discuss that. I haven't played it, so I can't have You haven't played it? You got me going crazy over here. I'm about to call. Yeah, mute him. I have seen gameplay, and I watched my friend play it, but I never. That ain't got nothing to do with you playing it. Get your ass in gear. Man, that is probably the best mobile RPG. Final Fantasy fell off around 12. Mm. I love Niku's design and everything about that character, but I never fucking played the game. I, be pissed at I think I went in a circle. What the fuck? There's a spring on top of a spike. Too. That don't even make sense. Matter of fact, I didn't even get the freaking World Interview soundtrack on my phone yet. Boy, you fool. That shit sit right on my... That's the first soundtrack I put on everything. <laughs> Just about that Freedom Planning and Sonic Before and After the Sequel. Straight on my phone, boy. I mean, I was, I'm okay with Freedom Planet's music, but mostly because I listen to Layla Wilson's music all the time on SoundCloud, so it's kind of like, you always know it's her style, because it sounds mm -hmm. the same. What's better, Battle Network or some Pokemon? Go. The, I'd rather play well, Battle Network. <laughs> At the age now. Uh, come on. Battle Network, everything else Pokemon. Why? Why? Why everything else was Pokemon? Ten Two was the worst thing I, like I ever put in my PS Two. God damn, Ten Two. <laughs> let me let me think about this. I like Battle Network music, but not as much as Pokemon's music. Oh, we talking about music, not the game. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, every arena. The story is more involved in Mega Man. Whereas Pokemon no, it ain't. Do this next, do this next, do this next. Mega Man is all about yeah. Land being by himself and his mama crying every night while Land go out and do dumb shit. Nobody thinks about his yeah. mother. That daddy, that daddy out there cheating, uh, bro. He, he's looking for his DNA brother. That nigga, that nigga was cheating. Higgs be a fucking drug lord. He's looking for the DNA brother. Chad Gay. Oh Whatever his name is, it's Chad or Chad. Chod. What the? F Chod. It's Chad. I never thought of. I never knew yeah. that. His real name is actually Eugene. <laughs> uh, oh, that's why. Yeah, his name is actually Eugene Chad, but Chad. That sounds like such a weird yet uppity ass name. Chad. My name's Chad. Oh my God, Chad. I was in a battle system and battle network gets on nerves sometimes. Why? Are oh, you talking about them parts where like you gotta mix chips up and hit them for like a certain amount of damage that you can't proceed? <laughs> yeah, those kind of things. Some of the battles kind of were just like, oh wait, hold on, I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I guess with Pokemon it's a lot more friendlier, so it's kind of an unfair comparison. Trying to compare really a man's compare game to a kid's game? game? How dare you? It. Yeah, aside from the fact that I feel, like, life, I feel like I'm more immersed in uh, the Mega Man game for the Pokemon games is like next gym, grind, next gym, some good music, next gym, grind. I have not you know, played. I, mean, I, 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 I see why you came to this. 
Yeah, that much respect. I can see why you can't really compare them then, because Mega Man is not really like. Because Pokemon, like you said, is more like you're building your Pokemon up so you can play with your friends and trade. Pokemon is more like this is a storyline. Play it, <laughs> and then that. And then after I should have ran on that water. It, Fuck. Then I you messed know, up. You want to? You can go play your friends and do all of that. But I think Pokemon is like literally like made with a thought of yeah. Right. Pokemon's way more social of a game. Yeah. Social mind, gotta talk to them all. Like, aspect of other people playing it around you, then it's kind of just like, oh, I'm raising these Pokemon in a silo. <laughs> <laughs> playing uh, with some people online, I guess. Let me look at the chat. Um, what the hell y'all talking about brick money? What? What what, the, what are y'all talking about? Hey, this isn't Smash. Oh, shit. I still got Smash on my uh thing. I'm so sorry, dude. I failed. Oh man, I love this stage. This song, this stage is off the chain. Did any of y'all play the the, the metal the metabot games on the uh, Game Boy Advance? How far out? It, it looked cool, but I had never played it though. Like I saw it though. All right, quick refresh of the stream. I'm sorry, yo. 